we need to be honest with ourselves. This week, these past couple of weeks, the VA has announced that there's 11 percent decline in homelessness. I don't know where they got the number. I'm not going to dissuade that number that it that may be accurate from the way that they count. But just like we saw with the suicide numbers that we shared last time, right. we're severely undercounting suicides. I believe we're probably severely undercounting not just homelessness, but but the the factors, the 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 things that push our veterans into homelessness as well to try to prevent them from ever having that issue in the first place. Same same concept with suicide. Instead of just being focused on stopping the act, we need to be focused on stopping the, those contributing factors that lead a veteran to that ultimate. Uh, decision, whether that's moving into their car or, you know, trying to find a shelter for them or their family or both, um, finding out how we can engage them early on and, and make sure that they're, uh, that there's other options for them to take. And there's plenty of those opportunities. I was very encouraged uh, when I went out to Dallas a few weeks ago uh, for their inaugural uh, veterans uh, uh, gathering that they had of both uh, law enforcement, first responders getting together with veteran organizations to talk about the different ways that they're approaching these issues, solutions that they've come up with in both of those two communities, and then starting to merge those together because we, we realize those are the same challenges for both those two groups. And they're getting together now, and that's very positive to, to solve them. 